Hello everyone, this is your teacher, Kid Cat. Well, one of your teachers. We're going to be learning about how to use Google Slides by, well, me. So, this is always optional. If you don't know how to use Google Slides, well, okay. But if you find something new in this video that you don't know about, then this video is for you. Now, um, let's start. So first, we're going to be learning about the present presenting button. This is what it will look like. Start presentation. You can also do control C plus F5. So let's try that right now. Sorry, I always have to go into the com um, keyboard because yeah, I'm really smart. But let's start. So over here, we have a few options. Over here, we have a few options. We have Q&A. It's basically an audience tool. Um, we have open speaker notes, which I actually use a lot. So that may be helpful. Pointer is actually my favorite. So let's see. Do, 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 I have no idea why I just did that. Anyway, that's the pointer. And this is all the tips. I don't use that though. So. Moving on, now we're going to be talking a bit more about the presenting button. Google Slides is where you can make presentations for people. For example, let me show you what the present button can do. So the present button is over here. You can start the presentation or just, you can click on the present button, but you can also just do control plus the five. Alright, let's go back. So there's a button called Pointer. I'll turn that on right now. Very nice. Alright, let's um so there's a button called Pointer. This changes your mouse into a pointer and you can help you read by looking at the pointer. So it basically shows you what's going on by underlining the words to help you understand. So it basically shows you what's going on by underlining the words to help you understand. Alright, so now that we know about that, let's go to our next slide. This is what the percent button will look like. Very nice, I like it. I found this on an image online, so just search for percent button on Google Slides. Now we're going to be talking about the share button. When you click on the share button, people through Gmail, also by Google, can help do this slide with you. For example, I click the button and I want me Olivia. Um, one of the people, one of the staff, well, one of the teachers, aka staff, who work at Kin Academy, by the way. Meow Olivia to help me, Kit Kat, Meowla, Mrs. Meow, and Fraybo to do this slide with me. So I click the button and type in her Gmail address. So I type in her Gmail address. All right. So I can't actually type in her Gmail address here. So because that's personal information, um, we're going to be talking about personal information later. So yeah. Let's continue. I won't write it, write it down because that's personal information. You can also type her a message for, to her, for example. Hey, Mia Olivia, come do a presentation with me. Or, hello, Mia Olivia, do this presentation with me, please. Etc. Etc. It will send her email on Gmail and a link to her slide for her to click, immediately bringing, um, immediately, and immediately be brought right here. Right, right where I am. Now let's click on the next slide and I think this, wait, because this is the last slide. All right, let's start. To paste an image, you need to press on the image button and there will be two buttons for you to use. Upload an image from your computer and search the web for a picture. Let's try that out right now. All right, so this is what the button will be looking look like. Um, so it says insert image. Let's press on it. Let's press on it. 
and there will be upload from computer, search from live, but we won't be talking about these for today. We will we will be next time. So we can pr um, pick on upload from computer. I mostly like to use upload from computer because it's a bit easier. Like say like my Kin Academy banner, this is from my YouTube channel. So this is what it looks like. I can post it on and make the size. I can do whatever I want. And to do and un undo this, I like to press Control C. So that's how you paste an image, um, I mean upload an image from your computer. But to search the web, I don't like to use this because this can be sometimes wrong. I, I'm going to search for cat lamp, but sometimes you can't find the ones you're looking for. So this one might have some, but the real internet right over here can have way more. So I, so I basically recommend you using the internet one. So, yeah. So let's close this. And now that we know about that, I like to use, well, upload a command computer, but you get to choose what you want to do, okay? Now that we know how to place an image, let's keep reading. All right. Oh, sorry. There will be two buttons to use. Upload an image from your computer and search the web for a picture. I personally recommend using the upload from computer button because you can't normally find the pictures you're looking for. So just find a picture on the internet instead, save it, and place it onto the slide you want. Next, is up to changing the size of the picture you want. There will be tiny buttons, and if you hold on them, you can make them go, you can move it. It can go bigger, smaller, etc. So I want you to create a slide showing pictures, etc., and say more things to what you can do on Google Slides besides the present because of the sides of the presenting buttons and the sharing button. But you are able to upload a picture. That's fine. So have fun. So have fun. Bye.